Question 1. Your vehicle is fitted with air brakes. What does it mean if a brake warning light shows when you've just started the engine? A. Low air pressure. B. Increased air pressure. C. The parking brake isn't working. D. The air reservoirs are fully charged. The correct answer is A. Low air pressure. Question 2. Your vehicle is fitted with air assisted hydraulic brakes. What fault would you suspect if the brake pedal becomes hard to press? A. The brake system has a loss of vacuum. B. The brake linings are worn. C. The brake shoes need adjusting. D. The brake system requires more fluid. The correct answer is A. The brake system has a loss of vacuum. Question 3. Which component will last longer when you use a retarder? A. The brake linings. B. The catalytic converter. C. The exhaust system. D. The transmission. The correct answer is A. The brake linings. Question 4. What should you do when an air pressure warning device activates? A. Continue to drive the vehicle. B. Drain the air tanks. C. Stop and have the fault put right. D. Pump the brake pedal repeatedly. The correct answer is C. Stop and have the fault put right. Question 5. You're driving down a snow-covered hill. Why should you take care when using an independent endurance brake, retarder? A. Your brakes could overheat. B. Your speed could increase. C. Compressed air could escape. D. The drive wheels could lock. The correct answer is D. The drive wheels could lock. Question 6. What should you avoid when using an independent endurance brake, retarder on slippery roads? A. The front wheels spinning. B. The drive wheels locking. C. Brake pad wear. D. Anti-skid road surfaces. The correct answer is B. The drive wheels locking. Question 7. You're about to drive an unfamiliar vehicle. What should you do if you think there may be moisture in the air brake reservoir? A. Assume the system has automatic drain valves. B. Find out whether you need to drain the system manually. C. 
nothing, it's the vehicle owner's responsibility. D. Leave the engine running for a while before driving. The correct answer is B. Find out whether you need to drain the system manually. Question 8. You're approaching a green traffic light and are going straight ahead. What should you do when the traffic ahead, beyond the junction, has stopped and is queuing? A. Go forward if your vehicle will clear the junction. B. Drive slowly across the junction. C. Maintain your speed and sound your horn. D. Stop across the junction until the traffic clears. The correct answer is A. Go forward if your vehicle will clear the junction. Question 9. What rules apply to the wearing of seat belts fitted to your lorry? A. It's not advisable. B. It's advisable. C. It's required by law. D. It's not required by law. The correct answer is C. It's required by law. Question 10. You're driving in this box van and are waiting to turn right. What should you do just before turning? A. Cancel your signal. B. Check your left hand mirror and blind spot. C. Wave out the green car, arrowed. D. Check your right hand mirror and blind spot. The correct answer is D. Check your right hand mirror and blind spot. Question 11. What will you have to deal with when you're driving at night? A. Headlight dazzle. B. Other drivers feeding. C. Cold weather conditions. D. Dazzle from shop windows. The correct answer is A. Headlight Dazzle Question 12. You're driving a lorry on a busy town. A driver pulls out in front of you and you have to brake hard. What should you do? A. Overtake as quickly as possible. B. Stay calm and accept the error. C. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. D. Sound your horn and speed up. The correct answer is B. Stay calm and accept the error. Question 13. Your lorry is fitted with a driver's seat belt. When may you drive without wearing it? A. When you are making deliveries that are less than 50 meters apart. B. When you're towing at less than 50 miles per hour. C. When you're working less than 50 hours per week. D. 
when you're less than 50 miles away from your depot. The correct answer is A. When you are making deliveries that are less than 50 meters apart. Question 14. You've been issued with protective clothing. Who's responsible for its use? A. You, the driver. B. The insurance company. C. The health and safety executive. D. Your employer. The correct answer is A. You, the driver. Question 15. You're driving on a motorway. What does to mean when a lorry ahead of you switches on its hazard warning lights? A. There are speed cameras ahead. B. The lorry is about to overtake. C. The lorry is leaving the motorway. D. Traffic further ahead may be stopping. The correct answer is D. Traffic further ahead may be stopping. Question 16. What should you do if you lose your way in heavy traffic? A. Stop at traffic lights and ask pedestrians. B. Shout to other drivers to ask them the way. C. Drive on until you find a safe place to stop. D. Check a map as you keep moving with the traffic. The correct answer is C. Drive on until you find a safe place to stop. Question 17. Where are you most likely to find pedestrians stepping into to road? A. Motorways B. One-way streets C. Wooded areas D. Shopping areas The correct answer is D. Shopping areas. Question 18. What's most likely to cause danger to a group of horse riders? A. Powerful brake lights. B. Leaving plenty of room. C. The noise of your vehicle. D. Reacting too early. The correct answer is C. The noise of your vehicle. Question 19. What should you do when passing sheep on a road? A. Pass quickly and quietly. B. Sound your horn gently. C. Drive very slowly. D. Keep your vehicle moving. The correct answer is C. Drive very slowly. Question 20. 
When is your near side mirror most likely to endanger pedestrians? A. When driving over a speed hump. B. When driving near a hospital. C. When driving close to the curb. D. When driving past a car park. The correct answer is C. When driving close to the curb. Question 21. What can prevent you from holding a bus or lorry driving license? A. Heart disorders. B. Dyslexia. C. Skin problems. D. Stomach problems. The correct answer is A. Heart disorders. Question 22. You're about to drive a vehicle you've never driven before. What should you consider when adjusting your seat? A. Your distance from the controls. B. Being able to reach your sat nav. C. The tension in the seat belt. D. The wear on the seat fabric. The correct answer is A. Your distance from the controls. Question 23. Why is important to adjust your head restraint properly? A. To make you more comfortable. B. To protect your neck in a collision. C. To help you relax while you're driving. D. To maintain a good driving position. The correct answer is B. To protect your neck in a collision. Question 24. When may you drive without wearing your seat belt? A. When reversing. B. When carrying out a hill start. C. When making an emergency stop. D. When driving slowly. The correct answer is A. When reversing. Question 25. You are driving along this road. What should you do if the red car cuts in close in front of you? A. Accelerate to get closer to the red car. B. Give a long blast on the horn. C. Drop back to leave the correct separation distance. D. Flash your headlights several times. The correct answer is C. Drop back to leave the correct separation distance. Question 26. You're approaching a large puddle near the left-hand curb. What should you do if pedestrians are close to the water? A. Ignore the puddle. B. Break suddenly and sound your horn. C. Try to avoid splashing the pedestrians. D. Wave at the pedestrians to keep back.
The correct answer is C. Try to avoid splashing the pedestrians. Question 27. What should you do if a long, heavily laden lorry is taking a long time to overtake you? A. Speed up. B. Slow down. C. Hold your speed. D. Change direction. The correct answer is B. Slow down. Question 28. You're driving a slow moving vehicle on a narrow, winding road. What should you do to let other vehicles overtake you? A. Wave them past. B. Stop in a safe place. C. Show a left turn signal. D. Drive more slowly. The correct answer is B. Stop in a safe place. Question 29. When should you use your vehicle's horn? A. To warn others of your presence. B. To allow you right of way. C. To greet other road users. D. To signal your annoyance. The correct answer is A. To warn others of your presence. Question 30. You're following a car being driven slowly by a learner driver. What should you do if it isn't safe to overtake it? A. Flash your lights so the driver see you. B. Be patient and stay well behind. C. Switch your hazard lights on. D. Drive along the center line of the road. The correct answer is B. Be patient and stay well behind. Question 31. What should you do if you're signaled to stop by a police officer in a patrol car? A. Brake harshly to stop. B. Drive on until you reach a side road. C. Stop on the left as soon as it's safe. D. Stop immediately whenever you are. The correct answer is C. Stop on the left as soon as it's safe. Question 32. You're being followed by a marked police car. As well as flashing the headlights, what will the police officer do to signal you to stop? A. Signal with the right indicator. B. Signal with the left indicator. C. Switch on the hazard warning lights. D. Switch on the rear fog lights. The correct answer is B. Signal with the left indicator. Question 33. Your vehicle is fitted with a handheld telephone. What should you do before taking or making a call? A. Find a safe place to stop. 
b reduce your speed to less than 30 miles per hour c steer your vehicle with one hand d be very careful when dealing with junctions The correct answer is A. Find a safe place to stop. Question 34. A mobile telephone is fitted to your vehicle. When should it be used? A. When you're stopped in a safe place. B. When traveling slowly. C. When on a motorway. D. When in light traffic. The correct answer is A. When you're stopped in a safe place. Question 35. You approach a pelican crossing that goes straight across the road. How must you treat it if it has a central island? A. As one crossing in daylight only. B. As one continuous crossing. C. As two separate crossing. D. As two crossings during darkness. The correct answer is B. As one continuous crossing. Question 36. What does the flashing amber light mean at a pelican crossing? A. Stop if you can do so safely. B. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. C. Stop and wait for the green light. D. Give way to pedestrians waiting to cross. The correct answer is B. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. Question 37. What should you do at a zebra crossing? A. Reverend your engine to encourage pedestrians to cross quickly. B. Park only on the zigzag lines on the left. C. Always leave the crossing clear in traffic queues. D. Wave pedestrians to cross if you intend to wait for them. The correct answer is C. Always leave the crossing clear in traffic queues. Question 38. A coach is overtaking you. What should you do when it's safe for the coach to move back to the left? A. Do nothing and let the driver decide. B. Switch your side lights on and off. C. Flash your headlights once. D. Flash your headlights twice. The correct answer is A. Do nothing and let the driver decide. Question 39. What should you do when you're being followed by an ambulance showing a flashing blue light? A. Stop to let it pass as soon as it's safe to do so. B. Accelerate quickly to get away from it. C. Ignore it if possible, unless you're forced to let it pass. D. 
brake harshly and immediately to a stop in the road. The correct answer is A. Stop to let it pass as soon as it's safe to do so. Question 40. Should you give way to a car showing a flashing green beacon? A. Yes, because it's a doctor going to an emergency. B. Yes, because it's a fire, crew support vehicle. C. No because it's a slow, moving vehicle. D. No, because it's a breakdown vehicle. The correct answer is A. Yes, because it's a doctor going to an emergency. Question 41. What type of emergency vehicle has a green flashing beacon? A. Fire engine. B. Road gritter. C. Ambulance. D. Doctor's car. The correct answer is D. Doctor's car. Question 42. You stop for pedestrians at a zebra crossing. What should you do if they don't start to cross immediately? A. Be patient and wait. B. Sound your horn. C. Drive on. D. Wave them to cross. The correct answer is A. Be patient and wait. Question 43. Why could it be dangerous to wave people across at a pedestrian crossings? A. There may be another vehicle coming. B. They may be distracted. C. They may not see your signal. D. They may not be ready to cross. The correct answer is A. There may be another vehicle coming. Question 44. What danger you should be aware of if you're driving close to the curb in a busy shopping area? A. They near side mirror striking the heads of pedestrians. B. The amount of fuel being used when driving slowly. C. Solid white line markings in the center of the road. D. Traffic lights that may suddenly change to green. The correct answer is A. They nearside mirror striking the heads of pedestrians. Question 45. Which of these is an unsafe place to park your vehicle or trailer? A. At an overnight service area. B. Near the brow of the hill. C. In the yard at a factory. D. In a lay-by in a build-up area. The correct answer is B. Near the brow of the hill. 
Question 46. What must you check before setting out on a journey? A. Your mirrors are tinted. B. Your mirrors are convex. C. Your mirrors are concave. D. Your mirrors are clean. The correct answer is D. Your mirrors are clean. Question 47. A group of school children are standing close to the left hand curb. What should you do as you drive past? A. Check your offside mirror. B. Check your near side mirror. C. Switch on your headlights. D. Switch on your hazard warning lights. The correct answer is B. Check your near side mirror. Question 48. You are driving at the legal speed limit. What should you do if a vehicle comes up quickly behind, flashing its headlights? A. Accelerate to maintain a gap behind you. B. Touch the brake pedal to show your brake lights. C. Maintain your speed and prevent the vehicle from overtaking. D. Allow the vehicle to overtake. The correct answer is D. Allow the vehicle to overtake. Question 49. What should you do when a vehicle pulls out in front of you at a junction? A. Swerve past it and sound your horn. B. Flash your headlights and drive up close behind. C. Slow down and be ready to stop. D. Accelerate past it immediately. The correct answer is C. Slow down and be ready to stop. Question 50. How is drinking alcohol likely to affect your driving? A. You'll have faster reactions. B. You'll become color blind. C. You'll feel more confident. D. You'll be able to concentrate better. The correct answer is C. You'll feel more confident.